Paul Day, I'm the Marine Works Project Manager for Buckingham Group on the project um, and we're building obviously the Riverside stands. There's a lot of the elements of the stand being constructed from the River Thames. Um, we've got a number of barges out there, a variety of different barges with cranes and plant on to help us do that. Um, we've really taken advantage of using the river for a lot of deliveries to this job. Um, we've utilised the maximum capacity of the river if you like by prefabricating a lot of the material off sites. Um, having it delivered via barge through the River Thames. It's travelled all the way from the Port of Tilbury um, to site here. So it's gone through all of all of central London. Um, and then we've got them moored up next to the crane barges ready for lifting and install. Uh, depending on what we're lifting, depending on the on the cranes and the plant out there that we're using. For today, for example, we're lifting the big roof truss sections. So the new the new roof has been prefabricated in eight big sections, uh, 55 tonne pieces being lifted up, um, the first one being today and we've loaded those onto barges at the Port of Tilbury, brought them down, and the big 400 ton crane will lift it in very soon actually, in the next 10 minutes. So for that installation, we've got a 600 ton jack up barge, which is a self elevating barge. Um, it jacks itself up, clear the water, um, and that's on, the, on there is the 400 ton crane, and that'll be used to install these big, big roof sections. I mean, it's a simple question for me, but what are the logistical issues of getting such big things from Tilbury to here? Yeah, it, it, it's a very big logistical challenge. Um, first one being the amount of bridges that you have to pass. So the River Thames is a busy river, so there's a navigational risk, definitely. But the real challenge for this project in particular was the um, clearance for these for these tows because the roof trusses themselves are at seven metres from waterline up to the highest point and that's a big tow. Um, usually on the Thames you try and keep it quite low as I say because of different bridges so we've had to develop what's called passage plans for this project um, and they stipulate the exact timings for each bridge, the tide heights and it's a very careful navigation through London and we've got pilots on board and we're checking depths the whole time, we're checking head clearance the whole time. Um, prior to the works we've done full point cloud surveys of all the lowest bridges, we've done bathymetric surveys of the river, um, of the riverbed, so we knew exactly what underkill clearance we get and what, what overhead clearance we've got as well. So what kind of, like how long did it take for them to get from Tilbury to here, is it a day? It's a, because, exactly because of the logistical challenges, it's a two day tow, so generally if, if you was just towing the whole way from Tilbury to here, you'd make the journey in about six hours, but because of the height of these, I've had to do it in two, two tides. So, the marker point really is get past Westminster Bridge, that's the lowest bridge on the Thames. Um, so once we were through Westminster Bridge, we went on to a temporary mooring in Battersea and the barges were held at Battersea for, for a full tide cycle to the next ebb tide, which is the, which is the um, out tide. And then on the next ebb tide, we, were, we moved in and we come up to the, to the site. So for me, someone who hasn't got a clue about this sort of stuff, where are these trusses going to sit? So basically, you'll see you'll see behind um, the rear sections of the trusses that you can see start going up. So you've got the main portalised steel frame, and then you've got the rear truss sections. The, f the furthest one out there you can see is a good example, and the trusses are being built off the back of that. So that is the rear section of the truss. And how many trusses are there? So there's the, to make up the whole roof, we've prefabricated it in eight truss sections. So there's there's eight of these prefabricated sections, and then each of those sections has infills. So there's on-site works, um, infilling, tying in those pieces together, basically. So the next steps, what are they? What what are Fulham fans who are walking along the river on the other side going to see over the coming weeks and months? Putting the all the trusses in. So over the next sort of eight weeks, get all the all the trusses in place, um, all the infill pieces tied in. Um, um, and then that releases all the other follow-on trades as well, such as the cladding, the envelope packages, the roofing, um, and really start to wrap the building up. And the trusses will be coming down individually in that same two-day process? Yes, yeah, so they, they come up one barge at a time um, because of the size of them mainly, um, and you need two tugs to, to tow something like that. Um, so they're coming up one barge at a time, and then they're moored on site, lifted in place, the barge goes back, and it's, a, it's roughly a seven day cycle from when they're loaded at Port Tilbury to when they get to site, installed in the barge back again. So that's how we've programmed it.